Hello and welcome to NDTV. I'm Ankit Tyagi. The felicitation ceremony of T20 World Cup triumph is, uh, in fact, uh, in Mumbai. It's uh, happening at the Van Kere Stadium. Earlier, a T20 World Cup victory parade of Rohit Sharma and his boys kicked, was kicked off at the Marine Drive and concluded at the uh, iconic Van Kere Stadium, crossing a sea of fans. The crowd was jam-packed as Team India bus tried to find its way to the destination. Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Surya Kumar Yadav, former coach Rahul Dravid. I mean, last, uh, in fact, his last uh, uh, outing was with Team India at the T20 World Cup final. Found it hard to keep their emotions in the control as the victory bus slowly and gradually made its way through the sea of crowd. Mumbai city, which is known to be an extremely active city, otherwise today proved right to its reputation because of its beloved Indian cricket team. Of course, after winning the World Cup in Barbados a few days ago, the Indian team was scheduled to be here in the city for their famous victory parade a few days ago. But that was delayed because of a cyclone in the West Indies and that resulted in the delay of the program. That's not the only substantial delay that happened today because, of course, when the team landed in Delhi, there were a lot of, uh, you know, attraction. A lot of people were watching that event closely because the famous Indian cricket team was meeting the Prime Minister over a breakfast. But that uh, was that proved to be a uh, you know secondary news when you talk about it because the bigger news happened to be the Indian team's arrival in Mumbai. Of course, it it was delayed by a couple of hours. The team was supposed to be here at 4 a.m. The team was supposed to land here at 4 p.m. But then it was delayed by a couple of hours, and that resulted in the crowd thronging not just to the airport to view their to view their superstars or to get a glimpse of them, but also to the Marine Drive, to the NCPA, from where the victory parade was going to start, and of course to the One Kitty Stadium, where a felicitation ceremony is currently underway. To all these three, four places, there was an extremely high number of people, which was what was expected was that something similar on the lines of 2007 might happen, where thousands and thousands, if not lakhs of people came down on ground. But what happened today in Mumbai uh, surprised everybody, right? The entire city, or especially the southern part of the city, came to a complete standstill and as you can rightly see on all your devices it is the visuals of the marine drive which has become the topic of news not just in India but across the world beyond the cricketing community as well. This reminds people of the victory parade of the Argentinian team after they had won the FIFA World Cup a few years ago. This is quite similarly an similarly iconic moment. Of course the, with this particular victory parade a lot of the people in the city were extremely pumped up to go uh, you know and to see their team at at least for once, to see people like Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma and Rahul Dravid at least for once in their last T20 uh, international phase or of course in their last phase of their professional career. But that resulted in several other things as well. The Mumbai City Police gave timely, uh, you know, sent timely requests to people that the Marine Drive was completely full and asked people to not to come there if it wasn't completely necessary. There were, the, you know, the vehicles were moved from that particular road to another road. There were several vehicular changes that were made. The train, the local train, which is the lifeline of the city, was made more frequent. And all of this happened while the team's arrival in the city was delayed by a couple of hours. That resulted in, uh, you know, a bit of traffic problem for the entire city for a few hours in other parts of the city as well. But that did not deter the spirit of Mumbai Cars when it comes to celebrating their favourite hero, that is Rohit Sharma, and of course their favourite team, the Indian cricket team, and watching them for for one of the rare on, on one of the rare occasions on where they went around the, the mecca of Indian cricket, that is Van Khede Stadium, with that glorious ICC trophy, which the team had rightfully earned after 13 long years. With video journalist Sunil Singh, this is Anuj Rai, the reporting for NDTV. Now, three days since the Hathra stampede, the Uttar Pradesh police made their first arrest. Six organizers of the satsang have been arrested. But the self-styled godman who is at the center of this controversy, the tragedy and the death for whom the prayers, uh, in fact, uh, this meeting was, uh, a prayer meeting was organized, has not even been questioned till now. Remember, the incident has claimed 121 lives and several deputies are also injured. They are now questioning their faith on the Baba. Betrayed and angry. These devotees of Bhole Baba, who satsang killed over 120 people, want answers from the self-proclaimed all-knowing Godman. 32-year-old Mohini, a grieving daughter, 
says this is the price of blind faith. Maa ko kina milegi ab maa ke bina kaise kaatenge? Maa ka dukh to maa ka hi hota hai. Is janam mein maa to nahi milne wali. While many of his followers hold the guru responsible, some of his strongest defenders are the victims of the stampede. उनकी कोई गलती नहीं। उनकी ये गलती है जलता की। ये जिम्मेदारी बनती है कमेटी वालों की। बाबा की नहीं बनती है। वो तो अपने परवचन देते हैं, अच्छी बातें करते हैं। लोगों को विश्वास होना चाहिए, अंधविश्वास नहीं होना चाहिए। और उनको अभी तक अंधविश्वास है। और वो कब तक रहेगा ये पता नहीं किसी को। the police, however, is yet to arrest the man on whose watch the devotees died. In fact, they haven't even questioned him yet. While he roams scot-free, six of his sevadars, organizers of the congregation, have been arrested. Baba ke apraatik ittiyas ki jankari hum log ke dwara ki ja rahi hai. Investigation is underway. Investigation as we proceed, if some investigation provides evidences, मुख्य अभियुक्त की गिरफ्तारी के अंदर और भी चीज निकल के आती है तो भी बिल्कुल सर परमिशन इनके नाम से नहीं ली गई दिस एज इस पलेशल आश्रम इन मैनपुरी हैज टर्न्ड इनटू अ फोर्ट्रेस व्हाट इज अनक्लियर इज वेदर द पुलिस डिप्लॉयमेंट इज टू अप्रिहेंड हिम और प्रोटेक्ट हिम टोकन अरेस्ट्स � is he enjoying political patronage and is there tacit approval from the top? In Hathras, with camera person Pavan Kumar, Vedant for NDTV. Meanwhile, politics continues over the Agnipat scheme. The army has countered Lok Sabha leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi's claim that uh, the family of an Agnivir who lost his life in the line of duty was not compensated. NDTV today spoke to this uh, family which uh, admitted that they have received 98 lakh rupees in compensation uh, but still demanded that the Agnipat scheme be scrapped. It is this family in Damgar Sardaran, in Punjab, who hold the key over what has become a huge political battle between the Congress and the BJP. I am saying that they are trying to do it with the government. They are trying to do it. Did the government fail to pay the family of the soldier Agnivir Ajay Kumar compensation for his death in a tragic landmine blast in January in Kashmir? A day after the leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi played out a video of Charanjit Singh, the father of the late soldier saying compensation had not been paid, there was this clarification when NDTV reached his home with our cameras. The political debate on whether the family was compensated first broke in parliament earlier this week when Rahul Gandhi insisted that no compensation had been provided. अग्निवीर की सच्चाई मैंने फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस पर रखी है और राजनाथ सिंह ने जी ने भी कहा है जो रियलिटी है वो हिंदुस्तान की सेना को मालूम है वो अग्निवीरों को मालूम है उनके कहने से या मेरे कहने से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सच्चाई तो उनको मालूम है उनको मालूम है सच्चाई कौन बोल रहा है the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh immediately responded, denying the allegations and yesterday after Mr. Gandhi posted a fresh video of the soldier's father, the Indian Army issued a formal statement. It is emphasized that the Indian Army salutes the supreme sacrifice made by Agnivir Ajay Kumar. Of the total amount due, family of Agnivir Ajay has already been paid rupees 98.39 lakhs. Ex gratia and other benefits amounting to approximately 67 lakhs as applicable according to the provisions of Agnivir scheme will be paid on final account settlement shortly post due with police verification. The total amount will be rupees 1.65 crore approximately. The Congress though says their concern is the larger issue of the Agnipad scheme 
the new recruitment process for those who join the forces in non-official ranks. The Congress says after four years, when these soldiers end their tour of duty, they are left high and dry without any pension or benefit. Today, Agnivir Ajay Kumar's family echoed the line. अग्निवीर योजना बंद होकर रेगुलर भर्ती होनी चाहिए सामने अग्निवीर चाहिए पेंशन नहीं कोई राशन कार्ड नहीं अस तो जो कार्ड कोई चलाया ही नहीं उस तो बाद जस जिस दिन तो साड़ा पर आ गया या उस तो बाद सानु कोई राशन कार्ड दी सू उतने किसे ने सानु कोश नहीं पूछिया हैगा भी तुसी कि मैं गुजारा कर दिया कि मैं नहीं अकाउंट से पैसे आनु कौन देख दा कोई नहीं देख दा The Congress has repeatedly said that the Agnipath scheme will be shut down if the opposition comes to power. The government insists it has its advantages and is a model followed by several countries around the world. with gurpreet singh chinna from punjab and vishnu som bureau report in the tv hemant soren is back as the chief minister of jharkhand after spending 5 months in jail a week since the, he got bail soren took oath as the chief minister today ahead of his swearing in ceremony hemant soren released a video where he said arrogant people intoxicated with power had tried to silence him mere virudh हमारे विपक्षों ने षडयंत्र रचा है और ये षडयंत्र में कामयाब भी हुए आज पांच महीनों तक इन लोगों ने मुझे अलग अलग तरीके से लंबे समयों तक जेल में रखने का प्रयास किया हमारे कदमों को रोकने के लिए एड़ी चोटी एक करके कुछ समय के लिए रोक पाए अब मैं पुनः आपके समक्ष आ रहा हूं ह्यूज कंट्रोवर्सी इन कर्नाटका वे चीफ मिनिस्टर दे रमैया इज होम टर्फ ओवर अलॉटमेंट ऑफ प्लॉट्स बाय मैसूरू अर्बन डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी and accusations are now being leveled at the chief minister directly after his wife was a beneficiary of this scheme pratibha raman reports it's a controversy that has hit chief minister siddaramaiah directly as his wife is one of the many beneficiaries of a controversial scheme by the mysuru urban development authority that could have led to several thousand crores of losses to the exchequer the land allotment scheme by the mysuru development authority or muda was one where 50% of land in a developed layout was allotted to those from whom undeveloped land was acquired but there were reports of serious malpractices in the case of the chief minister in 1997 3.16 acres of land at kesare village in mysuru taluk was gifted to karnataka cm's wife parvati by her brother mallikarjun in 1998 mysuru urban development authority acquired the land and converted it into a layout in 1999 Muda offered compensation amount of 3.24 lakh rupees which Parvati did not accept. She filed a case. In 2017, nearly 2 decades later, Parvati sought land allotment as compensation instead of money. In 2020, Muda passed an order offering developed land as compensation for land losers on a 50s to 50 ratio, which means they are compensated with 50% of land from developed sites. In 2021, Siddaramaiah's wife Parvati sought land compensation under the new order. In 2023, 38,284 square feet of sites were allotted and given to her by Muda at a prime area called Vijayanagar, which is estimated to be nearly 10,000 crore rupees per square feet. This was not where her original land was. 
The BJP has accused that around 5,000 such sites were allotted by flouting norms causing a loss of 4,000 crore rupees to the state exchequer and is demanding a CBI probe. The CM says that allegations against his family are baseless. The existence policy of the acquisition is 50-50 range for the farmers. That policy is not be applicable to the, the earlier one. The land value of that area is 2,000 rupees. They are compensated that area where they are getting out of 14 sites. It is in now it is a 10,000 square feet. Where is Sidrame's uh, that morality? Group yoga agi the anta aropa madi the. Group yoga agi the hoy ilu anti the. Noda ke equity madta hi the. Number one, number two, all idunna site karna ek koti di bola. Muda din koti the bola. Aur na amanat nali ti the. Then where is the last to the government? Yeah, ki nandiyan patra hi theli. The Mysuru District Commissioner claims there was no government approval sought and the civic body took its own decisions. The Karnataka government, meanwhile, has ordered a probe and has shunted several officials from Muda. Instead of allotting sites in acquired land, how can Muda allot sites in prestigious layouts? Several such irregularities have been reported against top BJP leaders on the Akrama Sakrama scheme which benefited owners of unauthorized buildings. And now this unauthorized site allotment has caused embarrassment to the chief minister of the state leading to a political face-off. With camera persons Kumar and Govind, Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. Quick break, news and updates on the other side, stay tuned. The Kerala Cyber Police registered a case after an announcement was made on social media that a foreign medical graduate examination question paper and the answer key were for, in fact, uh, uh, for safe, in fact, for sale, uh, I beg your pardon, a state police spokesperson said the city cyber crime police in Thiruvananthapuram has registered a case against group that advertised the sale of the question paper for July 6 examination. Eight people have been killed in a span of 24 hours in Assam as the flood situation continues to be grim. In fact, since uh, May, uh, 46 lives have been lost in the state due to floods. My colleague Ratnadeep Chaudhary travelled to the worst hit areas. facing an unprecedented situation with two waves of flood since May and in this wave of flood because of very heavy rainfall for past couple of days there have been massive floods across several districts almost 28 20 29 districts over lakhs of people over 16 lakhs of people have been affected and we are in Morigaon district one of the most affected districts बार का बार किस तरह से अगर दूसरे बार के बार से बात करें तो कोई डिफरेंट था कि कैसे आया पानी क्या परिस्थिति थी दूसरे बार जो पानी आता है ना वो धीरे धीरे पड़ता था लेकिन इस बार इतना तेजी से पानी भरा संभालने का मौका नहीं मिला मतलब बहुत तेज से बनेगा सुबह सुगा नदी का नदी का पिनार में गया था वहां पे पानी नहीं था लेकिन शाम तक घर में पानी आ गया People now 
are using the country made boat to ply on these village roads now these village roads are looking like a river and the water level although is receding in this area but it's still very alarming there is no electricity in this area uh, but drinking water is a problem देखिए एंटर स्टेट में 42,000 क्रॉप एरिया हैव बीन अफेक्टेड तो मुकाबला करने के लिए हम लोग अभी कम्युनिटी नर्सरी कर रहा है और करेंगे और ज़्यादा ही करेंगे और सी एम एज ऑलरेडी इंस्ट्रक्टेड अवर डिपार्टमेंट टू टेक नेसेसरी स्टेप्स फॉर द फार्मर्स इन द फ्लड रेवेज एरियाज ऑफ सैम इट इज द पुअर पीपल who were at the receiving end like this poor family from Bhuragao in Morigao district of Assam although water is receding in their village and they have faced many floods this time the deluge has been huge and sudden and therefore now the struggle for them is not only to battle the flood waters but also keep their lives and livelihood afloat their cropland have been washed away so it is a challenge to start once again and try to build up before the next flood comes in from buragaon in morigaon district of assam with cameras and sanjay chakravarti ratnadeep chaudhary funny tv that's all the time that we have in this edition news and update will continue on ndtv thank you so much for being with us